first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and place the images that you want to have moving in your project within your project timeline as you can see i've got my uh, dashboard opened up here and i've got uh, two images in there that i've placed uh, that i want to add some motion to as we're talking sometimes you see this in uh, explanation videos and story videos they'll have images on the screen and the images will move slightly uh, just to make it a little bit more engaging very easy to do it's called keyframes so what you'll do is um, on the image that you want to make move you'll go ahead and select it and once you have that image selected in the right hand side of your dashboard at the top here you'll see a menu open up uh, with different options for uh, editing and uh, color adjustment animation all that kind of stuff now CapCut does have animations in the top and this little menu here that you can add to your images uh, and you can make move. Um, some of a lot of them are pro. Let's see if we got any of them that. Yeah, see, I mean, you can do like a fade in or fade out um, and a combo. So these are like, you know, you're in, like at the beginning and then at the end. Uh, I think you can only add one or one or the other. But if you're talking about actually having the, the image move slightly while you're talking, the way you'll do this is you have these different scales or you have these different uh, sizing and position tools here like scale and uh, you know position, rotate, all this kind of stuff. These are all things that you can add keyframes to to have the changes taking place as the video is going. And the way this works is wherever your, wherever your video player is this line wherever this state wherever this is at is where the keyframe is going to hit so if i just go right here to the beginning of the project right where it first starts and i say let's do uh i want this to uh well actually let's adjust the scale real quick so we'll get this going full screen so we'll go full screen there that's good now let's say i wanted this to start more up towards the top so what i'll do is this little button here this is a add keyframe so once i add that keyframe and that's highlighted what it does down here is it adds a little dot right there you can kind of see it let me scale in it's not really helping but it's there you can kind of see it it's a little dot um, and that is basically the starting position of the photo so now that i have that highlighted and i have that active i'm going to move this up like this and you'll see that's um and i probably could have made the image a lot bigger but you get the point here so you'll see that's where the image is going to start Right, and so then let's move this cursor. That's the word I was looking for earlier, by the way, cursor. I'm, I'm ridiculous, it's early guys, I'm trying. So let's move this like right here. And so this is the next position. Now notice my cursor has been moved over here and now this is unhighlighted. So I have this dot here, that's the first keyframe. So I'm gonna add the second keyframe right now. So here's your second keyframe, boom. So now I have two dots, I have dot one and dot two, and this is gonna represent the position that you want this photo to be once it reaches this place in the project. And so now that this is highlighted, I've got the second, the second keyframe highlighted, I'm gonna move this image up to, we'll put it like right there, right? So now what'll happen is, is when I move my cursor back, you see it playing. So when I play, boom. Now I've got my image moving, it's good stuff. That is how you uh, do keyframes, and you can do that with anything. You can do that with the rotate option. You can make it rotate. You can even do that with scale and make it zoom in. So if let's say you wanted it to zoom in, so let's just, I'll tell you what we can do. Let's just cut this here. So here's your second image. So now I've got my second image here, okay? And let's just get this uh, started right, let's get this started like right there. And it's the same concept here. So I have my scale right here. So I'll start right here at the beginning boom add my keyframe for scale move it this way i'll put it just right over here add a second keyframe and i have the second position i want it kind of zoomed in to like right there and it's the same principle now when i start over it's slowly zooming in and that's how you basically do keyframes just like that getting it zoomed in and zoomed out you let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below if there's anything that you're seeing that's not working let me know maybe i can try to like work it back and see if i can get it to happen on my end maybe i can make a video on how to fix it um, please like share subscribe all that good stuff and i will catch you guys on the next one thank you for watching if you found this video helpful please take the time to like comment and subscribe as it helps us to further please our youtube overlords Check out more links in the description for continued assistance on your CapCut projects, and please keep your arms and legs inside the craft until it comes to a complete stop. Be sure to mind your headspace and watch your step as you exit. Failure to comply may result in serious injury or death.
we will see you next time comet creators. End transmission.